Hello friends. We hope you are enjoying this tutorial on an IPO. Please do share your feedback in the comments section. And if you are yet to check our earlier videos, links are available in the description box. In this video, we will discuss different parties involved into an IPO process. Though this an elaborated process may have entire artillery from an issuer company, however, we will restrict our discussion to major parties involved in this transactions. Issuer Company This is a company or a firm which is willing to raise capital by issue of stocks in the primary market. IPO is all about this company and their purpose to raise funds from markets. Then comes Lead Managers. They are independent financial institutions appointed by the company going public. Companies may appoint more than one lead manager to manage big IPOs. They are known as book running lead manager and co-book running lead managers. Their main responsibilities includes to initiate the IPO processing, help company in doing roadshows, creating draft offer document and get it approved by SEBI and stock exchanges and helping company to list shares at stock market. The company must list its shares on a stock exchange. Once the IPO is held, the company's stock will be traded on this exchange. Now let us understand about syndicate members. Prima facie, they look similar to that of lead managers, however there is difference in responsibilities. Lead managers and syndicate members could be same or different entities. Syndicate members are commercial or investment banks responsible for underwriting IPOs. Syndicate members are usually registered with SEBI or registered as brokers with stock exchanges. Their responsibilities includes to work as an intermediary between investors and issuer company, circulate application forms for bidding and collect bids for issuer company, share all collected forms or bids to registrar of an issue. Registrar of a public issue is a prime body in processing IPOs. They are independent financial institution registered with SEBI and stock exchanges. They are appointed by the company going public. Responsibility of a registrar for an IPO is mainly involves processing of IPO applications, allocate shares to applicants based on SEBI guidelines, process refunds through ECS or check and transfer allocated shares to investors' demand accounts. Like any other process which requires good governance, we have regulators in place to look after IPO activities. In India this is managed by Securities and Exchange Board of India, SEBI. Their task includes major three pillars which are vetting all details shared by prospecting company who is willing to launch an IPO, providing necessary approvals to launch an IPO, supervise smooth functioning of set practices and adherence of all norms during the IPO process to protect interest of an investors, Now we will be discussing most crucial and interesting party to the transaction. We have grown up listening, client is the king and this case investors is equivalent. We will have one full dedicated release on types of investors in an IPO, however this is the quick reference to common terminologies which you might have heard multiple times. An anchor investor refers to a qualified institutional buyer, QIBs making an application for a value of rupees 10 crores or more. Qualified institutional buyers that is QIBs are mostly representatives of small investors who invest through mutual funds, YOLOP schemes of insurance companies and pension schemes. We have discussed about them in our earlier video too. If you have not seen the same, you may click on the i button to check out different kinds of issues in IPO. Retail individual investors who applies for less than 2 lakhs rupees in any IPO. Non-individual investors, who applies for more than 2 lakhs rupees in any IPO. Most important difference between non-individual investors and qualified institutional buyers is with respect to SEBI registration. QIBs are SEBI registered players, whereas NIIs need not be registered with SEBI. Let us summarize. What we have learned so far. 
Elaborated process of launching an IPO may have entire artillery from issuer company however there are few key parties to this transaction which includes Issuer company, company which is willing to raise funds Lead managers, who galvanizes IPO process Stock exchanges, which creates marketplace for companies and investors Syndicate members, they helps as distributor and collectors of application forms and bids respectively Registrar this entity works as a record keeper in an IPO process. Regulator, acts a watchdog and protects interest of an investor. Investor, who finally invests in an IPO. If you are yet to view our earlier videos in this interesting educational series on IPO, then you may subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to get instant notifications of our upcoming video on life cycle of an IPO. Those of you, who are willing, create handsome returns from listing gains of IPO may check out the description of this video. Links to open demand account with leading stock broking houses is available there. Stay tuned for upcoming release, which is scheduled for launch soon.